A year is the time it takes the Earth to make one revolution around the Sun. For all practical purposes, the position of the Earth relative to the Sun on a particular day, like June 20th, in any year is essentially the same. But due to many changes in countless other entities in the universe, except for the position of the Earth relative to the Sun, there really isn't much else that is alike on a particular day from one calendar year to another. That applies regardless of whether it is the first, hundredth or thousandth anniversary of any past event. But many of us tend to place undue emphasis on the anniversaries of a number of events. The religiously oriented often designate certain days as holy days to celebrate anniversaries of the birth or death of a prophet or the occurrence of a supposedly miraculous event. Blind faith aside, apart from signifying the number of times the earth has revolved around the sun since the original event of interest, there really is not much else of substance in such anniversaries. Many of us seem to treat calendar years as if they were represented by a circular path on which all points are indefinitely repeated once every year. But in light of countless other variations in the universe, it may be more realistic to regard calendar years as if they were a series of straight lines joined together end to end to form a path that gets longer as days go by. In the more realistic linear view of the calendar year, points on the straight line do not repeat, regardless of how many years pass. As such, from an objective viewpoint, the significance of anniversaries is diminished, or is at least put in a new perspective. Admittedly, there is nothing necessarily wrong with the general idea or celebration of anniversaries like birthdays, religious events, or independence days. From a practical viewpoint, recognition of such anniversaries adds spice to our lives, gives us a proper historical perspective on past events of interest, and provides us a chance to recharge or regroup. On the religions front too, the faithful seem to find satisfaction and regeneration when celebrating anniversaries that they consider to be holy. My intention here is not to dampen our celebration or recognition of anniversaries, but merely to enlighten us into rethinking their significance. Thanks for your time.